Ready, go. Ready, go. First, the front of you. Go. I see different things here. Uh, first of all, your whole body is rotating together as one unit. So, um, what I mean by that is, you turn your body and then try to turn everything at once. There should be uh, some separation between your lower body motion and upper body motion. The body opens and then you have to let the arms go, but essentially from here, try to turn at the same time. That depends on the timing, the ball goes to the right toward the target or to the left. It's hard to control. So, um, low body first uh, prepares the, you know, everything and then set the foundation and then let the upper body go and hit the ball instead of turning everything together. Because of this motion, as you turn, you tend to go down here and try to swing at once. But in the back swing, you have to let it go this way and then throw. So you have to imagine uh, the rotation of the upper body about the spine axis. Instead of this, this whole thing is going, lifting up like this, or try to hit the ball like this. Instead, this is turning about the axis, and you have to let the arms go. You have to go turn about the spine axis. Yeah. From here to here, you will see that the whole body is turning as one unit together. As a result, the club goes away from your body early. Keep the club close to your body, come down, and then let it go here instead of turning and then hitting like this. Okay. So you need to do the exit rotation about the spine axis. And then uh, in the down, toward the Toward the end of the downstream, you have, you have good stepping to uh, the left side. And stand on the left side nicely, but because you're turning like this, you're still using your legs actively in the follow through. That's why you lose balance after the swing. There's a lot of uh, effort in the follow through. Now, the down the line view. You go. What you see here is. Um, So go up here, up to this point is okay. But if you look at this position here, the club head is now going that way. It's crossover. And then your arms are coming down like this. Up to this point, it is okay. If you continue this motion, and then if the hands stay here, and then let the club keep going that way, there will be nice spot. What happens is you're dropping, you're dropping the arm down here. And then because the hand is low, your clever goes this way here. So from this position, the whole thing is turning together. So you have to let the club go, keep going here, and then let the club continue this motion. And from here, just to change the direction, reverse the direction, and then let it go instead of drop here, and then try to use the whole body. So you, you have to uh, let the club go. Um, so you, you're not really, you take advantage of your body. You're tall and you have good uh, size, but you're not quite uh, utilizing this. When this happens, the right arm goes back and lower here quite a bit, you lose the ball. From here, the whole body is turning together and the try to hit the ball. That's why the impact is not consistent. Let it go and then just reverse the direction, then throw. Mm, using the preferred vision, maintain gaze on the ball here and then let it go. Instead of the turning too much. So the last uh, part of the back swing, keep going here from here. This motion here, this is the cause. This is what causes a lot of trouble in the downs. 
Let's first uh, try to feel uh, what it is like to stay um, on the plane. Mm -hmm. Instead of holding it, just yeah, hold it that way. And then naturally this gives a little bit of a slope here. And then try to move this along this plane here. Okay. Along this plane. Okay. And no, then, pass my back. no, 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 just, uh, just to maintain the plane. And also keep the arms straight. Do not bend the elbow. No need to move that far, so about this much. Your arms go about this much and this much. Okay. So swing back and forth. Oh, no. From the beginning, you're going this way here. Instead. Okay. Hmm. Ah, it's going too flat, too, going too flat. Too flat? Yeah. You, oh, more than anything. You have to feel what you're doing. I'll give you uh, certain instructions. You have to make that happen. That means that you have to communicate with the, your body and the device. So you shouldn't know what you're doing. And if it's not, what I ask, you have to adjust. Just uh, don't try, just to uh, repeat without thinking, without adjusting, that has no meaning, okay? So maintain that plane. Okay. More than anything, you have to maintain that plane. Uh, no, from the beginning you are flipping it. Always when you start the motion, okay, you have to let it go this way here to maintain this instead of going this way here. Understood. Yeah. Just, just basically hardly in my mind is a straight line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also try to, try to have a feel of throwing it instead of bringing it inward here. Okay. Throw it. Laterally. Yeah. Keep the arms straight. Now, in doing this, in doing this, you're only using the, your upper body. You're not using the legs. Imagine this is something really heavy, okay. like a bag of cement or something. Okay. If it's heavy, you, then you cannot just do this. You have to use the legs, actually, to promote this motion. So your arms are just holding the, the evil. Your legs uh, was, uh, called, uh, was uh, you know, making the motion. Use the legs, use the legs. And then if necessary, kick the ground up here. Kick the ground with the legs here. Kick and throw, kick and throw, kick and throw, kick throw, kick throw, kick throw. Kick means the throwing action. So more holistic motion, okay? Instead of always try to uh, use your arms, just to throw, and throw. You know, to throw, you have to use your legs. Ah, uh, one thing, one thing, one thing. So now it's a, I see throwing action here. But in the transition, Wait until this motion is completed and then start the motion. Yeah. Don't no need to rush. Okay? Just a throw, throw, throw. Mm -hmm. And then keep the arms straight. Uh, 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 uh. So you have this is lateral motion. No. Use the legs and then push, push with that, push, push instead of sliding. No sliding. Use the Use the legs and push the ground with that throw the even. Push, leg push, leg push, leg push, 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 push. Okay, keep swinging, keep swinging. Swing, swing, throw, 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 kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick left, kick right, kick left, kick right, kick left, kick right, kick left. Mm. Yeah. Now the motion is a lot better. Now you're using the whole body better. Yeah, and then and the one thing you have to avoid is uh, turning like this, the foot going this way, in the back. Just to try to ball go this way. 
gently using the toe, push the ground, push the ground, push the ground instead of turning like this. Use the toe and then push, 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 push. Yes, it's getting better. But still, you need to make it more rhythm here. So slow down. I'll show you this. So if you have rhythmic motion, you don't have to use a lot of uh, uh, muscle actions here. Just throw, 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 throw. Use the leg kick, throw, throw. Mm. And also one thing that will help, one thing that will help is assuming reverse peer posture. So when you throw this way, instead of the upper body moving this way, go more this way. Yeah? Then it's a lot easier. Yes. Both ways. Mm -hmm. Swing and then kick, push the ground, push, 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 push. So that way you don't have to uh, move laterally a lot. Yeah, that's better position. It's called the reverse pivot posture. Okay? So oftentimes uh, people say uh, reverse pivot is bad, but actually you have to have a reasonable reverse pivot posture here. Uh, the terms I use, uh, sway, the slide and shift. Sway means the upper body is moving. The upper part is moving a lot. This is sway. Slide means the pelvis is going like this. Okay. The shift means uh, intentional, purposeful lateral motion here, under control. So I want the shift motion instead of sway or slide. So in order to do this nicely, imagine you straight, straighten the body on this side, then naturally you will have slight reverse view posture, right? And then swing, and then now this is straightened. Going this way. Mm, mm, mm. It's like a letter K. Yeah, K and reverse K, repeated. So in order to ma maintain good control, you, you, have, you have to push the ground outward, down and outward, laterally. So that way you can maintain the motion within this space. Straighten on this side, straighten on this side. Turn, 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 turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now the motion is better. Swing, swing, no fight, play with it, play with it, just play with it. Throw and wait, 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 throw and wait. Okay, now relax. So if you throw too much, then at the end here, you'll be a bit unstable, right? So you have to plan everything. So then you have to have reasonable speed here, and then so nicely decelerate here, and then throw and nicely decelerate here, instead of throw too fast here, and then unstable motion. The whole thing, the whole motion is what you need to plan, what you need to have in your image. You have to deal with the whole motion. Nice acceleration, deceleration, repeat it. Throw, throw, throw. The back side is a bit too much. Yes. Throw, throw, and then develop good body rhythm. Have a bit, a little bit dense. You can move a, a little bit of up and down, up and down. Instead of, no, instead of sliding like this, have a little bit of up and down motion using the legs. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 okay. So now, in, in this process, the, the, the trunk acts like an axle. And then the arms and uh, the club forms a, um, a chain. So the axle is rotating about the, the axis here, and then you're throwing the, the chain to develop good speed. But if your body moves like this, then you're using the whole thing as a chain. Then the motion becomes really complicated. 
So rather, you have a little bit of reverse field posture here. The, the, the axle does not have exactly the same axis all the time. The, the axle uh, moves a little bit. But go to slight reverse field posture, reverse field posture, and then throw, 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 throw. This will give you good overall posture control. And you can do this continuously. Now let me record this. Okay, ready, go. More, more rhythmically, use the legs. Kick, kick, throw, 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 throw. good. So look at this. More, more rhythmically, use the legs. Kick, kick, throw, 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 good. Yeah. So now you started moving the body properly, and then you maintain this exercise. And then if you keep your head all the time like this, then this will limit your rotation later. When you actually use the club, and then you keep gazing the ball like this. So what should happen is the, imagine somebody's holding your hair here. Your girlfriend is holding your hair here. And then if you try to turn, this happens, right? So it's okay to turn your face, but using the peripheral vision, gaze the ball, gaze the ball, gaze the ball, gaze the ball. Later when you have to increase the turn more, you can do this, you gaze the ball, gaze the ball. But the bottom line, you have to maintain the excess. So if uh, someone is holding your hair here, your head cannot go like this. So holding here, then turn. Pelvis can go more. Turn this way, turn this way, turn this way. So this way you will get to maintain the excess. Okay? Now let me record from here. And then in, in doing that, have a little bit of rhythmic action here. Key, key. Your legs can you know, have more active up and down feel, while your body shouldn't do this. Maintain the axis, but your, your legs can have more active. Slide up and down motion. Okay, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good, good. Throw, 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 throw. Good. Look at this body posture. Yeah, very good. So your, your body is uh, adjusting now. Go. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good, good, throw, 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 throw. Straighten, straighten here, straighten here, straighten here. So the upper body is not moving much, laterally. Your pelvis is moving enough. You keep a good push, push. So this is important. So come up with something that you can hold. It doesn't have to be uh, in this form here. It can be a kettlebell. I used to use a kettlebell, maybe 10 pound kettlebell. And it should be reasonably heavy, but not too heavy. If it's too heavy, then your body motion changes quite a bit. Yeah. So using that, throw, throw, throw. And then imagine that somebody's holding your hairs. So your head doesn't move that much. But turn this way, turn this way, turn this way. So this, this type of uh, device can be quite useful. Or even, uh, you should have a tray for, uh, for uh, foods, right? So just is hold the tray here, and then create this plane here, and then you can do this. Yeah, you can, just, you can just use anything that promotes this planar motion. And then as long as it gives you a good image of uh, what you want to generate, then that should be okay. okay. And then so one thing you have to avoid is, again, moving the whole axis. Rather, 
you have to maintain good uh, axial motion, rotation here, and then your arms and club are thrown both ways. And the part of the reason why I ask you to, uh, to keep the arms straight in this one is that uh, you know, the motion is limited to uh, about this position, right? And in order to create this motion with the straightened uh, arms, you have to turn your shoulders and the, your shoulder girdles. So it's mobilizing your uh, upper chest and also the shoulder girdles. So that way you can use uh, you know, all the mobility allowed. And then in addition to this, if you add your arm motion, then you have everything. So currently it, uh, it eliminates the arm motion to promote the shoulder girdle motion. But later, when you swing freely, you can add the arm motion to that. But from this motion, and then just the add the arm motion instead of okay. yeah, maintain that body motion. Now we'll use something very different from uh, your club or anything else. Okay. And then you will, you will have to swing the rope around your body like this. And now, this is flexible, so uh, manipulating it with your hands is impossible. That means in order to move the rope properly, then your body has to guide it properly. And more than anything, you need to have a good image of this, the string plane you want to create. So you, you want to move the rope along a plane here. The string plane, typically the string plane passes from the ball to a middle section of your trunk here. This is the string plane. So if you use your arms too much, then simply becomes uh, stiff. If you keep your knees uh, flexed all the time, it's your, your pelvis collapses, then simply it becomes too flat. But when you use the legs actively, you will have a natural uh, swimming. But image that you are moving, this is part of your body, okay? This is part of your body. You are moving the end of the rope around your body. So you have to pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. So try to move the end of the rope around your body nicely, following this plane here. Okay, see, let's see uh, what's your, <laughs> let's see your initial uh, response to the rope. Again, your goal is to move the end of the rope around your body. Uh, uh, uh. So uh, initially, here, you can even go flat here. You can go flat, but the thing is, in order to move the rope the way you want, you have to give enough speed to the rope. Okay. It's not snappy motion, but as long as you give good speed, then you'll be able to uh, generate this uh, planar motion easily. Very Uh, you're using your arms a lot. You remember the, the motion plan, uh, the motion we developed with the e band So your body and arms go here, and then add arm motion at the end. Swing and add arm motion, swing and add arm motion. And also your back is too flat. Okay. So remember, the swing plane is coming from the ball to a midsection of your body and going this way. Then you have to throw it a bit higher instead of going flat back. Okay? But initially, just play with the rope, give enough, give enough speed. Once the rope has enough speed, then you, oh, you hold it at the end. Because you're tall, you have to uh, hold it at the end. Mm -hmm. Here. When you go to this position quickly here, then moving your body, but you're not really paying attention to the rope motion. The goal is to move the end of the rope here. End of the rope here, instead of, okay? Your, your whole purpose is to move the rope, move the end of the rope. You have to communicate with the rope all the time. Yep, swing, keep, keep swinging. Uh, it's all arm driven, it's all arm driven, arm driven. Remember this motion? Yeah, yeah. Image this. You're turning your body 
about the spine axis and then throw, simply throw, throw the rope both ways instead of try to drag it. Throw both ways, throw, 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 throw and turn the body, throw. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Swing, 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 swing. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Swing, 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 swing. Okay, look at this, what you're doing here. It's all arm driven swing. Your leg is straight, it's passive. Swing, swing. Swing, 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 okay. Now, I don't know whether this will make sense, but uh, try to swing with your legs. Try to swing the rope using your legs instead of your arms. Up and down, keep a bit, a, a bit of up and down motion. So as soon as you hold the rope here, you're using your arms only. Your leg is straight here. Look at this. My arms are actually just holding the rope. Okay. Instead of using the arms and trying to drag the rope, here, here, here. Throw the rope, throw the rope, throw, throw the rope. In order to throw this way, you throw that way, you have to use the body turn and then throw, body turn and throw, instead of dragging it, pulling it down. Throw, throw both ways. Throw, 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 throw. Oh, the too rigorous. You are using your arms too much. The reason why your impact is not consistent is because you are using your arms too much. But you are not really controlling the motion of the end of the rope here. So what's my target? That's still my target? No, you don't have to touch this, but the, the, it should be uh, toward the, the, the T here. It will, it will pass about here because it's a short. Okay. But aim it toward the T, so it will be s swinging like this, okay? So throw it at my target or throw it past the target? It's the same, because it's a plane. Okay. Ah, this is, uh, oh, wait. Oh, let me explain this. The rope swing has two purposes. One is to develop consistent swing plane. So whether you're swinging this way, you swing this way, when you have continuous motion, then you have to use a consistent swing plane. Okay? In other words, uh, you have to swing on the same plane, both ways. The second one is uh, you give more time at the transition. So instead of whip here and then whip using the arms, turn the, turn the shoulders. Remember when we did the evil swing, we try to turn the shoulder while keeping the arm straight, right? So give enough shoulder turn and then add the arm motion. Give enough shoulder turn and then add the arm motion. And at the end, you should have a bit more time. But for the moment, the main thing is uh, developing consistent swing plane. Here. And then do not, do not hit the ground with the rope. Rather, aim it toward the teeth. Still, your, your body is too rigid and then you're using the arms. But the, the motion has to come from, you see, if you keep the arms straight here, okay, without doing anything with the arm, if you turn the body enough, 
you have this much motion here already without the arms. So if they use use the body, good. And then at the end, they add the arm motion, add the arm motion. But the bottom line is you have to have a consistent swing plane. Your plane is currently, the rope is hitting almost this side here, in the this swing, and then you are hitting almost this side on, uh, in that way. But it, you have to swing, swing, swing consistently, symmetrically, both ways. Imagine somebody is holding your hairs. You can turn, turn, your, turn, turn your face, but you don't move the, your head that much. Swing, swing, and throw, throw, have the feel of throwing, 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 throwing. throwing. Yes, now it's better. So when you throw, throw and they keep turn here, straighten here. Throw and keep turn and straighten here. So throw, 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 but your, your hairs are held. You can turn your face, but you cannot move your head that much. Okay? Yeah, now the motion is a lot more consistent. Yes. Throw, throw, throw. Throw, 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 throw. So, and then on this side, on this side, you're pulling it in too much. You're not really throwing, but you're still pulling in here. Okay? So, let's try this. Using the right arm only, with the right arm only, come up here and then throw, throw, throw. Throw instead of dragging in, dragging in. Uh, maybe to keep this a bit slack here because this is for your left hand here, so about here. And then, and then make it as uh, realistic as possible. That means at the top, you, uh, no, 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 at the top, you're not going this way. In your real swing, you never do that. No, flex your elbow here. So, Flex here and then throw, flex here and then throw. Uh, oh, 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 it's too much arm there, but the, the turn has to, be, has to come from the body action and throw. No, still, still, uh, still we're using the arms here. Still, you are using the arms like this. Instead, use the body, throw, throw. You're holding the rope. You're holding it because your body is driving everything. You're simply throwing it. Instead of using the arms and Turn the body, turn the body, yeah, again. The swing is not coming from your arm motion like this. Instead, body turn and throw, body turn and throw, throw, throw. Okay, body turns first. Shoulder turn, turn, shoulder turn, yeah. Use more shoulder turn. Okay, hold the pot, uh, hold it with both hands. And then as you swing back and forth, instead of using the arms, try to use more shoulder turns. And then the shoulder turn has to come from leg actions. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Use the shoulder turn, throw, throw, yes. Throw, throw. So both ways, both ways you're throwing, okay, instead of pulling it in, pulling it in. But now the motion is a lot better. But the key is, always have the image of turning the spine, about the spine axis here, instead of 
doing anything like this, instead of weaving, a lot of having a weaving motion, turn, turn, turn. That turn is coming from the leg action. Push, push the turn, turn, and then throw the arms, throw the arms, throw, instead of pulling it down, pulling it down like this. And then um, in Star Wars, uh, the Jedi are using lightsabers. Wing, wing, wing. Currently, your swing is almost like a wing, wing, wing. Is that wing, wing? Have the image of continuous motion, and the ball you are throwing instead of pulling it down. Okay, throwing it out and up instead of pulling it down and in. The motion is now a lot cleaner, a lot simpler, but still, still you have a quite inward swing plane right now. On the way down, it's inward this way. In the back swing, it's going that way. You have to maintain, in order to maintain consistent swing plane here, you have to really throw and using the speed and let it go instead of pulling it in here. If you pull your hand in here, it always influences the swing plane and make it inward the swing plane. Your goal is to using the speed here, the speed here, and then let it go. Let it go instead of pulling it in here. You have to let it go. More throw it laterally, laterally, instead of going inward. So try to throw the rope where I am. So this way, you have to have image of these and then you have to create that motion. You have to guide the rope toward me. Keep continuous, continuous swing. It should be continuous and then throw. Oh! Instead of push and out, out. Is it pulling? A dead, no, oh, ooh, ooh. your arm, the, your hand is going too, too early here. And then make sure you have a continuous motion. Don't need, you don't need to manufacture this motion. If you just give enough speed to the end of the rope, it will automatically make this planar motion here. Just try to give enough speed to the rope. That doesn't mean snappy pull, okay? Pay attention to the end of the rope. You have to communicate with the end of the rope. You have to maintain the tension here. Look at this. When you have good tension, maintain tension, then a little bit of body action, the rhythmic body action, you can turn the rope well, right? I'm not using my hands that much. Actually, it's coming from body action here because you maintain good tension here. So that's why the rope is moving nicely. So always maintain tension with the rope, but that doesn't mean your hands go too early here. If your hands go too early, but always you're pull, pulling it in, pulling it in. So even at the end of the back swing here, as the rope goes around here, you have to maintain good tension here so that you can throw right away. Throw, 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 throw. Pay attention to the end of the rope. So with the, this motion, you are moving this the way you want instead of moving the body the way you want or the hands the way you want. The goal is to move the end of the rope the way you want. Feel the, feel the rope. Feel the motion of the rope. A 
bit, a bit faster, a bit faster than that. So in, in doing this, in doing this, if you lose balance, if in doing this, if you lose balance, this is all upper body turban. Because the leg is a passive, that's why you lose balance. But if you are using the legs actively, okay, then you'll be able to have good control. This, this is good. Because now you start paying attention to the motion of the end of the rope. Pay attention to the end of the rope. A bit faster, make it a bit faster. Throw, make it faster, both ways. Feel the tension, maintain good tension. Swing, swing. Yes, yes, yes. Now, now that's a lot better. So always uh, understanding the task is important. Okay? We are swinging the rope, but here the goal is to pay attention to the rope, end of the rope motion. And you want to move the end of the rope around your body nicely in a planar motion, almost a planar motion. Here you will deviate, it will deviate the, you know, from the plane a, bit, a little bit, but at least the here you should have good, consistent rope motion here. Have that image. Okay, I'm going to move the rope along this plane here and then move the end of the rope fast enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, oh, initially it was okay, but uh, toward, the, toward the end, you just lost the idea of the plane. One enemy in developing good plane is your right elbow going this way here. If you lift your right elbow, as you were doing in your swing, if you lift the, the right elbow here, the clavet goes this way. So you have a crossover. In the rope swing, I see the same thing. If you, here, the rope is okay because it's flexible, but when you go back to your club, then you will definitely have this problem. So try to have more this here. Again, again, if your goal is to move the end of the rope nicely, Remove anything that interferes with the, the motion. This is the rope motion you want to generate. But if you go here, this won't give you good, the nicer rope motion. You have to eliminate that. The goal is to just move the end of the rope nicely around and cut, cut, cut off anything that interferes with that intention here. Swing, turn the shoulder more. Turn the shoulder more both ways. Have a rhythmic motion. Use the legs. Use the legs. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Use the legs and then develop rhythm. Yes, swing, 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 swing. Very good, very good. Ah, because the rope cord went through your neck. It's because the back swing is flat. The arm went this way. So here, instead of uh, moving the rope with arms like this, this is what you need. Using the body action, you will be able to move the rope nicely instead of try to do this. Okay? You maintain good uh, tension here. Use the body. Turn the, shoulder, turn the shoulder more using the legs. And then reduce the involvement of the arms. Now, even the body motion, you don't have to intentionally do anything. Your goal is just to throw the rope, throw the rope, throw the rope, and to find the natural body movement instead of manufactured one. Yeah, that rhythmic motion, the leg action will give you good shoulder turn. That's all you need. And then throw, 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 throw. Yeah. 
But still, the body is uh, not turning nicely here. So look at this. If I have rhythmic motion here, my goal is to let the end of the rope nicely here with the body action. Arms are holding it and they guide it. So you, you don't have to put a lot of effort. Again, make it as easy as possible, but give enough speed to the rope. And use the body with the Reverse pivot, reverse pivot, the, the, your hairs are held by something. Turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder. Swing, 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 swing. Read me, instead of using the arms, use the body more. Turn and then use the legs. Swing, swing, swing. Okay. This will change your swing completely. Read me, instead of using the arms, use the body more. Turn and then use the legs. Swing, swing, swing. Initially, it was okay, but you start losing the plane <laughs> as, as you repeat. Yeah. The motion is not connected. Very stiff, yeah. You're, because your legs are not doing much. This is the initial one. Now, this is the current one. You see, your, your, your lower body is moving better here. The previous one. And then even... So, uh, I mean, even you can see how you move your body. When you use your legs more, then the motion is really rigid and stiff, but um, it's more rhythm here. It's better connected there. Yeah, you still, you now you start feeling uh, the rhythm. But still the plane is a bit too, uh, too stiff. The plane is too stiff. Make it a bit flatter. Make it a bit flatter. Yeah, so currently your rope is going more this way here. Yeah. Lift it up a little bit here. Yeah. Uh, one thing, you should be able to control the angle. If you want to go flatter, then you should be able to bring it up here. If you want to go steeper down here, you, sh you should be able to control this freely. So this time your intention is to make it a bit flatter. Throw, 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 turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder. Oh, but still as you, still as you swing, it's not consistent. From swing to swing, it moves a lot. That's why uh, your impact is not consistent. Okay, so one thing, it's important to develop good body sequence, motion sequence, but at the same time, you should be able to control this so that you have a consistent motion. But currently, the rope is going all over as you repeat this. Make sure you have consistent motion. Use the body to create consistent swing back and forth. So you have to have a good image of that plane you want to use. Okay, Luis, instead of just the swinging, you are swinging along that imaginary plane so you have to process the info, the process all the sensory inputs, and to create that motion. So you must have a good image of the, the plane you want to follow, and then you actually have to move the rope along that plane. That's you. You can only do uh, you know change this. Whoa! <laughs> Give me five. This motion is a lot more consistent. So I gave, I gave you enough motivation. So always, always this, this is important. Instead of just the repeating the swing, you have to have purpose. For a while, you have to always keep the purpose here so that you can generate the motion you want 
And then when this is automated, then you don't have to think about it. Automatically, uh, it'll happen. But for the moment, you need the effort. Okay. Yeah. So again, image the plane. Your goal is to move the end of the rope along the plane fast enough, consistently. So in doing that, cut, cut down all the unnecessary movement, and then make your swing as simple as possible. Now, what I see here is that when you lose that plane, it's because your, your arms come down too much here. Okay? So depending on what you do with your arms here, go up and then when your arms come down too much and then it goes flat here, then you lose the plane. So image this. All you do is moving the rope along this plane and then only changing the direction. Reversing the direction and let it go. Maintain this plane here and then reversing the direction. All you do is have good exit rotation and then throw, 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 so that you just reverse the direction. But this is swing plane. If you introduce a motion perpendicular to the swing plane, that it causes trouble, right? When your arm goes down here, if your body turns this way, then the arms come down then you are introducing this perpendicular motion. Then you lose the plane. So as you swing here, your goal is to have good axial rotation here, and just reverse the direction and then let it go. Reverse the direction and then let it go. Instead of, yeah, now th this motion is a lot more consistent. Again. Just the throw and then reverse the direction, throw and reverse the direction. A bit faster, a bit faster, make the rope faster. Mm -hmm. Good, swing, 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 good. So now your goal is to just let it go and then change the direction. Is that rope? Try to use arms quite a bit. Good swing, 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 swing. Good. This is a bit slow, right? Mm -hmm. The last one is a lot faster, but you're fairly maintaining the swing plane here. And then your right elbow, at the end of the back, your right elbow is not lifting like this. Is staying a bit closer to the body. Oh, I see. Mm. Because your goal is to move this fast and then just reverse the direction. If this is a task, no need to introduce this motion here. Mm. Even higher here. When you understand the task, when you focus on the main task, then you will be able to eliminate unnecessary movements as long as you uh, focus on the task well. And particularly when you have to create the good speed here and then consistent motion here, naturally you'll try to cut off all the motions that are going in the perpendicular direction. So that's uh, why I, I always use continuous motion. With that, gradually you can change your swing pattern. Okay. The rope, motion is, rope swing is particularly good because it's flexible, so you can manipulate it. The only way you can have consistent rope motion is to guide it correctly. And really have uh, focus on the end of the rope. And then when you have the intention to move the rope along the plane continuously, and then fast enough, then you can achieve that. Okay, again, make it a bit flatter. Intentionally go a bit flatter. Throw, 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 yes. So definitely you're not lifting the right elbow much. Now let me record from here. Huh? All right, make it a bit flatter. Ready, go.
turn the shoulder good throw 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 okay look at this still if it hits the ground that means it's a step if you lift it up and then it should not hit the ground okay go Turn the shoulder good. Throw. 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 So the motion is fairly consistent now. Still, you have to use your legs more because you have a big upper body. So you tend to use your upper body more. But um, as you repeat this, you'll be able to engage your lower body more and more. And then so when you repeat this continuously, that's the swing becomes a stable, more stable. So the speed reduces the unnecessary movement. I mean, that's very cool. When I move slow, I, I do everything. Yeah. That's, that's what usually happens. You have a reasonable speed okay, that the organizes the motion you know, the best. If you go slower than that, then you start introducing unnecessary movements. Um, walking, for example. If you walk at the optimal speed, then you don't have to worry about anything. You keep just moving forward here. Okay? But when you have go slower than that, then the acceleration deceleration uh, pattern changes. And what happens is you introduce a lot of lateral motion. You start moving laterally more. When you have a reasonable speed, then everything is simple. So uh, it's important to maintain uh, reasonable speed. With that, forget about anything. Just focus on the task, which is uh, moving the end of the rope nicely along the swing plane. And, and all you need to do is uh, develop good speed here, and then just reverse the direction and then throw. Reverse the direction and throw. And maintain good tension here so that you can constantly control the rope. Instead of you relax here and relax here, then you lose the tension, then you lose the communication. Body has a, all the body parts have a sensors, muscles and the tendons. All these have sensors, so we can constantly get the uh, neural input. The connection between your hand and the rope is the tension. If you, you feel this tension, then you know where the rope is. You can control it better. But if you lose the tension, then you lose the control. Okay. So uh, rope is part of your body then you have to maintain this control, uh, the connection, your connection. Like you give a reasonable, maintain reasonable tension here and then pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope because that's the, the goal. Okay? So again, make it really flat. If it hits the ground, then it's just too, uh, too steep. And then, you know, earlier when you were hitting the ball, you had the tendency of hitting the, the ground that's why the, the T came up, because you hit the ground. That means your swing plane is steep. So you need to flatten your swing plane a little bit and also make it consistent. Use the legs more, using the legs and then turn the body. Have up and slide up and down feel of the legs. And with that, create the turn motion instead of using the arms. Okay, so this is yours. So take it with you, and the and the practice rope swing a lot. Okay, the rope swing is really good to uh, uh, in, in reshaping uh, your swing. Now let's try to use uh, again.